And as far as the Central Hillel Committee is, um, has made that announcement, they said that they confirmed that the sightings have been made in uh, San Diego, alhamdulillah. So we will begin our Tarawih Salah, inshallah, and Ramadan Mubarak to all. When I heard the announcement, I wanted to cry. <laughs> yeah, it was so late too. I want to go home. Did y'all do what you were supposed to do for the first day, or? No, we did. Oh, okay. Saturday, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Three. Day one. Over. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a day in my life. So. <laughs> I've been wanting to make this video since the beginning of Ramadan, but because of Tarawih and because of everything that's been going on in Ramadan, you guys know Ramadan is such a such a busy month. I've always wanted to give you guys kind of like the behind the scenes of like what it's like for someone who leads Tarawih. Like I kind of want to just give you guys like a walkthrough, show you the ins and outs, the behind the scenes. So a lot of you guys on my Instagram, I always post on my story like day one of 20, day two of 20. Today I'm going to be posting day 19 of 20 because tomorrow, I'm going to be finishing my khatam, but I have to explain. I think I never explained truly why it's 20 days and why it's not 30 days. So let me give you a little bit of a presentation. So maybe five or six months before Ramadan happens, the hufaz of the community, they come together along with like the authorities of people that make the decisions in like the board and the masjids and different areas of like the state. And they discuss who is going to lead where. Right, so usually because of the surplus of hafaz, because there's so many hafizes in the state, they have to divide maybe three to four, in my case there's two, at each location, right? And now Ramadan goes for 30 days long and the Quran has 30 chapters. So you're probably thinking, yo, if I lead, I mean, if we read wonders every day, we're gonna finish the entire Ramadan, right? But here's the thing, Ramadan is dictated from how, when it starts and when it finishes through the lunar calendar, right? Through the moon. So we can't guarantee that there's going to be 30 nights of Ramadan. So that being said, usually people finish in 25 nights, 27 nights, or 29 nights, or 21 nights, depending, because they like to keep it in the odd number for Laylatul Qadr. So this year, usually me and my partner, we finish in 21 nights, but this year we wanted to finish in 20 nights because some of the brothers that pray behind us wanted to do i'tikaf. They wanted to pray in the masjid. I mean, they wanted to sleep at the masjid for the last 10 nights. So we're like, okay, we're gonna squeeze it even more and we're going to do 20 rakats, right? Now, dividing it even further, in order for us to finish in 20 days of Ramadan, which is why on my Instagram story, I post like five out of 20 days, 18 out of 20 days, because I'm finishing on 20 rakat, on, tw on the 20th night. From the 20th night up to the 30th night, we still lead Tarawih, but we are not restricted in leading our designated portion, right? We have the luxury of choosing however much we want to recite that night. Every night we read a juz and a half in order to finish on the 20th night, right? My partner, his first 15 juz are stronger than his last 15. And for me, it's the opposite. So vice versa, my last 15 are stronger than my first 15, right? So he takes the bigger portion, which is the one juz, and I take half a juz, right? Leading up to the point of where it's like Surah Kahf, maybe like the 15 juz, and then we switch. Then now I take one juz and he takes half a juz because it's easier for him to handle half a juz and it's a lot easier for me to take care and take over the one juz. Does, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I don't know if I'm explaining this the right way. So to summarize in a nutshell of how me and my Tarawi partner are doing it this Ramadan, we're probably going to be doing it this Ramadan every single year because we just love the system and how easy and convenient it is to finish in 20 days compared to 30 days. So in a nutshell, Ramadan starts, he does one juz, I do half a juz. We work our way all the way until Surah Gahaf and then we switch. Then he does one juz, I mean he does half a juz, I do one juz, and then we finish 
on the night on the 20th night of Ramadan. Comprehendo? There's only a couple of days left. There's maybe like five, six days left by the time you guys are seeing this. And um, it makes me sad. It makes me sad because we ran through it so quick, you know? And it feels like just yesterday I started my Quran in Tarawi and now tomorrow we're gonna be finishing the entire Quran in Tarawi prayer. So I think it's safe to say that I feel like I've done my best. I know I could have done better, but realistically speaking, I feel like I've done my best in terms of meditations and prayer and all the things that I, I feel like I did a way better job than I did last year, you know? And I think the goal is to always be progressing. Man's growing up, you know, alhamdulillah. And like, it's so cool that I could share these experiences with you guys. I saw this book on Instagram from like a lady. I forgot what her Instagram name was, but it's a book called Allah Loves by Sheikh Omar Suleiman. And basically in this book, Sheikh Omar, he talks about how despite of you being a very sinful servant to Allah, Allah still loves you, you know, regardless of all the sins that you've done. And I think that's something that I struggled with a lot growing up. I think it's something that a lot of you guys watching struggle with. You think that um, based off of the DMs that I get and the emails that I get from you guys, you guys think that, oh, I've been such a bad sinner and I'm like in a haram relationship and I'm in like all these bad things that I'm, in, I'm entangled in. I can't go to Allah because I'm embarrassed. Having a book that's just thin, I love books that are small like this and compact because I feel like it's easier to finish. It's more encouraging to finish a book that's that thin compared to like a really thick book. But now speaking of thicker book, I bought this book by Robert Greene. It's called The Laws of Human Nature. I bought another one of his books called The 48 Laws of Power and I left it in Dallas and I finished, I'm almost finished reading that book Allah Loves. So I was like, this is gonna be my next read since I'm gonna be here in Louisiana. Also, guys, after this Ramadan happened and I lost like 10 pounds, uh, right now I'm weighing in, I think, around 170, 172-ish. We still have 10 days of Ramadan left. Um, I wanted to take my fitness more serious. Fitness has always been such a huge part of my life. And I realized I never shared it in depth with you guys, you know, and you guys matter to me so much. And I was like, why don't I share it with you guys? Because I know a lot of you guys could, could benefit. So that uh, decision, of me wanting to share things, maybe want to track my calories more because in order for me to grow the way that I want to grow and keep track of the things that I want to do, uh, I'm gonna need technology. And that type of technology resulted in me buying an Apple Watch. So I bought an Apple Watch Series 7. It's not the first Apple Watch that I bought. I bought a, like an Apple Watch SE a couple years ago. Um, but this is kind of like a step up. It's like the 45 millimeter one in green too. Any of you guys that know me know that I love the color black and green. So when I saw that they created a green Apple Watch, I was like, screw everything else. I don't even care. I need this thing right now. So I got it. Look at this. Quran is green. Apple Watch is green. It almost looks black. It's like extremely, extremely dark green that almost looks black. And the only way you can tell it's green is if you put it in like bright light. So why not, bro? It's like Apple. It's like Tim Cook literally designed an Apple Watch for use of truth. They should have given it to me for free. Like, I'm mad. All right, I don't know how much time I have to explain this or what's going on because there's a lot going on right now. So I'm the only one at home right now. Ain't that right, mama? There's no mama home. But anyway, so um, I know I haven't filmed that much this video because today is a khatam. Today is a khatam of Quran and uh, we are finishing Tarabi today, right? Now, so what's going on right now, for those of you who don't know, I don't think I've mentioned this on the vlogs ever before, but basically my family, we have our own Islamic learning center and it's maybe like a couple minutes from here. So everyone is over there right now setting up like the tables, they're setting up for iftar, they're setting up for the events that are gonna be taking place tonight. I probably won't be able to film because I'm going to be very occupied with my tarawi and everything that's going to be going on. And I'm gonna be meeting all the guests, I'm gonna be meeting all the people that are showing up. But, but before tonight happened, I went to the masjid, I filmed a little bit of uh, clips over there. I couldn't really talk too much because uh, there was uh, a group from South Africa that came to visit and I was like busy with them. Um, but this Ramadan has been absolutely transformative and it's been so, so full of actual barakah. I think because COVID is finally gone, I feel like Allah SWT is finally allowing us to feel like Ramadan is back again, you know? So what I gotta do right now is I have to pick out my outfit, iron it, get ready, make wudu, 
meditate and reflect of everything that's been going on and then I'm going to head to the venue and perform my last tarawi. Uh, a part of me is really sad that I'm saying goodbye to the Quran, right? Like we're finishing. But another part of me is really happy because now I have the luxury of reciting whatever I want. So for example, if I want to recite Surah Taha tomorrow in Tarawih, I could do that. And the next day, if I want to do Surah Baqarah, I could do that. And the next day, if I want to do like the last 10 surahs twice, I could do that. And so earlier, I was reading the book, Umar Suleiman, Umar Suleiman's book, Allah Loves. And in the book, he was talking about repentance. That's the first chapter, right? And he was talking about how when you sin and you go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for repentance and sincere repentance, he'll turn that sin into a good deed, right? So he was giving a couple of analogies. When shaitan whispered to Adam alayhi salam in Jahannam, I mean in Jannah, astaghfirullah. <laughs> when shaitan whispered to Adam alayhi salam in Jannah to eat the fruit and he ate the fruit and Adam alayhi salam's rank fell, right? He sinned. So he sinned and his rank went low, but then when he repented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose him up even more. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to teach us that there's beauty in repenting. And there's a reason why he gave us free will. Because he knows that we're sinners. I'm a sinner, you're a sinner, I am not perfect, you are not perfect, right? But Islam is, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. So Allah knows that we're made to sin because when we sin, He wants us to go repent to Him. And when we repent to Him, He elevates us in ranks, you know? So I don't know. That was really, really cool. I read the first chapter again, and um, it's something that I just wanted to share with you guys. This is the fit. I decided to wear blue tonight because my dad is wearing blue also, and he wanted to match with me. I was originally going to wear white, but because my dad requested it, I was like, all right, Baba, I'll wear white. I mean, I'll wear blue. I don't really have any words right now. I'm just focused on leading my tarawi. I don't have a hard portion tonight. Um, I'm gonna be reading, from those of you that memorize some of the Quran, I'm gonna be reading from Surah Jinn all the way until Surah Mutafifin. And then Khalas, I'm gonna hand the mic over to my, my partner. And then he's going to read from Surah Inshiqaq all the way until Surah Nas. And then we're gonna have a program. He's going to make dua and uh it's gonna be a great night inshallah before i leave i want to mention if you guys want to get something for eid for your dad or your brother or uncle or your husband or anyone that's a guy in your life or girl if they like the scent of this i've been wearing this perfume it's called midnight rude and it comes in like such a cute little bottle like look how cool this looks and this thing i have some designer fragrances that are like $180 that don't last as long as this $30 oud, right? This one, I can literally smell it out of the bottle. We're gonna wear some tonight. <coughs> I sprayed it in my face. So you guys, let me move out of there. You guys could just hear this, this, the quality of the spray isn't like tss, 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 it's that's how you know it's like high quality. Like, look, watch. Mmm. I'm gonna smell like a prince. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Al-Maghdubi Alayhim Wal-Adhan قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس الله أكبر
Alright, so Khatam's over. And uh, it's a sad but very happy day, isn't that right, Mama? Yes. Everyone is super pooped today. We're so tired. Except for me, I'm not so so tired. I'm kind of like on this like Drawi high. Alhamdulillah, but my mom is so tired. My dad is so tired. My sister has been running on two hours of sleep. Like, it's been crazy. Like, I wasn't inside, I wasn't able to film. But seeing family and friends gather for my khatam and see all of it kind of like come into fruition. Don't, don't put me in that picture. No, I didn't. I didn't. I'm not. You're not on camera. You know, Mama, this is my seventh year leaving Tarawi, right? And like every year, the same thing happens. Like, we finish the Quran. But this year felt a bit different, didn't it? Yes, it's different. I think because COVID is finally over, over. 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 Allah Taala is finally putting like the barakah back in people's lives, and we can. He's allowing us to come back in real life and and put it through, you know. But Tarawi is finally over, and I don't, it's something I don't really have to stress on now. It's now not it's more. Over yet. Yeah, it's not over, but you finished. I finished the portions that I need to read, you know. So I can finally focus on like things that i've been wanting to focus on in ramadan i'll probably get into that more tomorrow morning but for now i'm just going to close off today for filming and i will see you guys in the morning do you want to say anything for my video mama it's the happiest day of my life because uh, first of all you know we fulfilled our duty just listening to the quran just the recitation of quran it's just like reading the also yeah. <laughs> I'm so thankful to Allah, may Allah accept it. Uh-huh. Give you the rewards between the... Uh, I'm tired, ma. So, good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. I know that there's so many other Khufas out there in the world that lead Tarawi, and for them it might not be such a big thing, and I'm probably like over-exaggerating, or I'm probably like hyping the thing up too much. But for me, myself, it's something that I've held on to since I was 14, you know, now being 21. It's something that I held onto ever since I was a kid. It's like this piece of, this, it's like this timeline, this piece of time every single year that I'm able to dedicate solely for like the sake of Allah. And um, every year it becomes more meaningful, especially like tonight, seeing all of the people that I grew up around in this community come to the event and when we, everyone said takbir, like everyone stands up at the end of the event to hug the people that led the salah, me and my partner, and you're hugging one guy and he's like whispering all love into your ear and you're thanking him. All you can say is like, thank you, uncle. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you for everything. And then you're done with him and then you turn around and you hug another guy and then you hug another guy, you hug another guy. And it's like this huge gathering of just so much love and everyone is under one roof for one sake and one sake only. And that's because we're all here to celebrate the completion of the Quran. Like, and if I played like a huge part of it, that's something that I just hold so valuable and so deep. And I don't know, like I hope I'm portraying tonight as best as I can for you guys. I wish I recorded, man. Hello. Good morning everyone, it's been a couple of days since I last filmed uh, I don't know for some reason I just didn't feel like filming but <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm restarting this video? After the khatam, I felt like my life was done I felt like all my responsibilities from Ramadan were done So I stopped filming and I don't really remember the last thing I filmed But uh, I'm gonna continue filming this video And I have to run some errands so I just showered I woke up, showered, put on this outfit, this sweater is beige from Zara. Really nice, it has like, I don't know if you guys can see the material, what type of material, but it's really nice. And then I'm wearing joggers from Zephyrs. I don't know if you guys can see. Y'all better not judge me, <laughs> don't judge me, but this, this is my tripod. I'm filming the TikTok. <laughs> say what's up. <laughs> What's the plan for Eid, my people? What's this? Can we sort it out right now? Because all of us are here. Yeah, y'all want to do a restaurant to a family? What should we do? Oh. What restaurant, though? Well, we can do that, but then... The Thai Equator. I mean, Cafe Equator. Where, where, where is Cafe Equator? Oh, we literally went there, no? I'm getting sucked by the mall. We need to do the cake balls, dude. Why don't we do some funky-ass flavors this year? No, not funky. Like Grandma's Feet. Ew! Assalamualaikum. <laughs> 
How are you, Bilal? Uh, how, how are you, man? Alhamdulillah, how are you? <laughs> Congratulations! Th Congratulations! Amin, Amin, Uncle. Thank you so much. Ashana, how many years are you doing this? This is my seventh year, Uncle, leading Trawi. Second year? Seven, seven years. Oh, seven years, Are you excited for Chicago? Yeah, I'm excited. Oh my god, I'm so excited, Uncle. I'm getting my suit made in uh, like next week after Ramadan, inshallah. The week after Eid, I'm gonna go back to Dallas to get it made. Inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. Yeah, bring your friends also. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I invited a couple of my friends yeah. also to come. Yeah, why couple? Try more, more? Alright, inshallah. The more, the better, right? More baraka. Yeah, this is, you know, this. All right, so that's pretty much going to conclude uh, today's video. If you enjoyed this little peek into my life, this little day in the life, although I couldn't really film too, too much, a lot of it was just me speaking to the camera. I hope you guys grasped a good amount of what I do on a daily. Um, but if you made it to the end of this video, comment down below the number seven and uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button because I post every week and I will see you guys in the next video.